Hello, wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video, we're going to be using Kerbal Space Program Demo. Why? For a good reason. One of the previous videos I made was actually using Kerbal Space uh, Program Demo to try to land on the moon. But today, we're going to up this challenge a little bit and try to go to Minmus. I'm going to show you how you can possibly get to Minmus using nothing but simple parts in Kerbal Space Program, and we're gonna just try it for fun. Why not, right? Anyway, welcome to the Math. So if you've never played the demo version of Kerbal Space Program, and if you actually have the full version, or you've never played the game at all, you know that it's about launching these cute little creatures that you see on the bottom there into space, and the demo version actually starts with barely any items at all. There's actually very, very few things you can make, and, uh, you know, it's actually challenging to even put a rocket into orbit, but in one of the previous videos I was able to get to the moon, and I think someone was actually able to even get to uh, moon and then come back from it. Uh, I remember someone posted their creation later on. It was pretty hard, but it's possible. Let's see if we can actually make it to Minimus. We're going to start by placing a capsule here. We're going to also attach a parachute because we're gonna try to come back. I don't know if we will, but we'll try. We'll try our best. And we'll also place, uh, so th th okay, so this is how we're gonna approach this. This is the part that will try to land on Minimus. This is the part that's going to go to Minimus and land there. So we're going to place maybe a couple of these here and give it an engine. There's only one engine we have available. It's the heavier, um, what's it called? Reliant. Oh, they changed the name. It used to be called something else. And we're also going to give it a, a few struts. Let's give it three struts. Uh, we're gonna give it three struts right here, and just uh, just for fun, let's actually maybe. Well, okay, let's let's maybe move the engine a little bit on the inside because I wanted to kind of. Yeah, I want I want the struts to stick out a little bit more, so it's gonna be right here. This is where the engine is going to be. So hopefully this part will be able to take us to Minmus. If not, then we'll have to figure something out. Uh, this is from the orbit of Kerbin. So hopefully there will be enough enough fuel. Next part we're going to do is um, the circularization part. This is the part that will try to circularize our rocket around the um, around around Kerbin essentially and we need to make this a separate stage so we're going to place a separate stage here and hopefully this will be good enough. There's three tanks here and another one of these engines on the bottom. And the last part or I guess the first stage is going to be the one that will actually take us off from from Kerbin, and this will need to be a little bit more complicated. We'll need to actually have a lot more power here. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to place one here and uh, place maybe two more on the side. So it's going to be something that looks like this. And this will actually have three engines because we want this to be very powerful. And on the bottom here, we'll have three engines that will basically create the first stage. So let's see if this works. It might actually totally not work. And it might also wobble a little bit, so I'm gonna have to place a little bit of struts here. I think I'm gonna just place a few struts just to make this a little bit more stable. Making our rocket just a little bit more stable. Alright, so this is design number one. Let's see if we can get into space with this particular rocket. Alright, so here goes nothing. This is our pilot, uh, Jebediah Kerman, of course. And we're going to take off and use the regular procedure of getting to an altitude of about maybe five kilometers or so and from that altitude we're gonna start slowly circularizing our orbit. I also have to start watching the velocity here. I don't want to go too fast because it's gonna actually create a lot of uh, negative effects for my rocket such as for example pushing my nose too much. It's, it's going to be a little bit too... oh this is a little bit too fast. It's going to be a little bit too much pressure here which will actually start tilting my rocket a little bit. Alright, so right around now, let's see if we can start tilting to the side. We're going to slowly begin what's known as a gravity turn. This is basically so that you can go sideways faster than going uh, upwards, because that way you can achieve the orbit a lot faster. This is a very important maneuver, and it will actually save you fuel the sooner you start doing it. Uh, Alright, so here... Oh, wow, the rocket really doesn't turn fast at all actually it's a very slow turning rocket but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to start turning more and more now because we're already pretty high up surprisingly this is actually a relatively efficient rocket too 
we were able to uh, achieve this altitude on only one single stage. Really, really cool. All right, so here we go, here we go, here we go. 18 kilometers and counting. Speed is about 400 meters per second. Still some fuel left. We're trying to uh, move sideways a little bit more than we were before. And initiate... At least soon we're going to initiate the second stage. All right, so here we go. And right around now. Let go of the first stage. Second stage up. I need to check my map because I don't want to go too high up. It needs to be altitude of about maybe 70 kilometers. All right, we're doing good so far. Doing good so far. Speed is still increasing. This is the second stage. Actually, this is supposed to be the stage that's circularizing me. So I, I need to make sure that I don't waste too much fuel doing this. All right, so let's, uh, let's go to the altitude of about maybe 75 kilometers. This is going to be our apoapsis for this particular orbit. And we're going to stop our engines right around here. We're now we're going to coast through the apoapsis. This is a general sort of procedure for placing your rocket in orbit. I'm going to make a maneuver node right here with... Okay, this is, this is not perfect. This is not very good. All right, this is a lot better. This is a relatively good orbit with the apoapsis and periapsis relatively close to about 80 kilometers. Now we're going to maneuver ourselves toward the maneuver node. As I'm slowly realizing, I forgot to bring solar panels. Things happen, right? So this is possibly not a perfect design. I may actually place one more engine, oh, uh, sorry, one more fuel tank right here because I do need more fuel. As you can see, uh, I need to increase my speed by about a thousand uh, meters per second. I don't know if I have enough. All right, so here we go. This is actually going to definitely place us into orbit, but probably not take us to minimus just yet. So here we go. So we're going to start burning uh, the last bits of fuel here and circularize our orbit as much as we can. Hopefully this will be enough to position our rocket into a circular orbit around Kerbin, but possibly not. Yeah, definitely not enough. All right, so let go of the last stage and prepare the last bits of fuel here. This will also allow us to see how much fuel we actually have and how much delta V we have on this particular stage. And right around now, we should start slowing down. And stop. And the last bits of fuel, or I guess the last bits of uh, circularization right around here will place us in a somewhat circular orbit with the 77 kilometers to 78 kilometers Apoapsis and periapsis. This is actually as circular as I've had in a while. This is a almost a perfectly circular um, orbit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start planning our trip to Minmus. It's going to be we're gonna we're gonna set this as a target, and it's going to be a relatively simple maneuver that we have to create here. So this is actually known as the Hochmut's maneuver, and the way it works is you basically accelerate toward one direction. And you increase your apoapsis dramatically until it crosses the orbit with the other body. And right here, you can see this is uh, when we come here, the object is going to be right in this direction. So what we need to do is we need to basically intersect with these with the Minmus. And one of the better ways of doing this is actually using um, using Moon. You can actually use the Moon to give you a bit of a boost. So if you can make it to the Moon, you should be able to make it to Minimus. That's sort of the, the more smarter way of doing this. But the more Kerbal way is to just directly boost your engines towards Minimus and try to j just get there directly. Okay, it seems that we can't really get uh, a good orbit just yet. So we're going to have to wait in this particular orbit just a little bit. And uh, we're going to wait. We're going to do a few orbits around Kerbin until Minimus comes a little bit closer here so that we can actually intercept at this location. Now, if I blast directly to Minimus right now, this way, the easiest possible orbit, I'm going to have to spend 921 Delta V of fuel. If, however, I use the moon for a boost for what's known as a slingshot maneuver, I'll show you in a second what this means. If I use the moon for a boost using the lunar trajectory, there you go. I could actually use the moon's gravity to boost myself even higher, thus reaching this location uh, with only delta V of what, what, 859, 860? That's about uh, maybe 50 or 60 uh, meters per second saved. 
basically there's absolutely no difference in these or almost no difference and so a smart uh, astronomer would actually probably or not a smart a smart um Kerbinot would probably use the uh the moon's boost to get to minmas i'm not so smart i'm gonna go direct now i think what we're going to do now is wait a little bit and orbit around the Kerbin a few times until we get to a position where we can actually transfer to minimus uh, directly without really uh, worrying too much about the uh, slingshot maneuver unless we can actually get lucky and transition that uh, using that maneuver there as well so um for some reason my electric charge is actually not decreasing so i think it's because it's a demo version or possibly because i disabled all of my uh, electric parts so we just have to wait how long it will take us to to basically wait until minimus gets into a good position so let's accelerate time a little bit more uh, well, i guess we can't accelerate time a little bit more and wait for the minimus to get there so here we go and having waited a little bit i think i found one location right here where we can possibly get a good periapsis going and basically get an intercept uh, with Minimus and possibly even just directly crash onto it. We just need to blast our engines uh, for 921 meters per second in approximately a minute and 46 seconds. All right, well, let's try. Let's see what happens. This might work. This might not. This is attempt number one of our mission to Minimus. I don't remember how long it would take me to burn my fuel here, but I'm going to assume that it's going to be maybe 30 seconds, so I need to wait just a little bit until we get closer to that node location. And right around here, I think I'm going to start blasting my engines. Alright, yeah, that's good. That's good. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit slower, actually. And we just need to basically propel ourselves toward minimus. Now, it looks like we have some fuel left, but not, maybe not enough to actually uh, safely land on Minimus. So let's, uh, let's see how much we'll have left at the end. All right, perfect. So this is our actual uh, trajectory right now. We're going to be intercepting Minimus at... Uh, oh, wait, it's an encounter? Oh, is it? Wait, hold on a second. Let's, let's, let's see what's happening here. Let's come closer. No, yeah, so we're not going to actually intercept it just yet we need to place another maneuver and maybe modify it just a little bit so we actually crash on the minimus because we want to crash on it okay so looks like this is the trajectory i was looking for we're going to be pretty much crashing into minimus let's see if this works we're going to warp our time here and uh we're going to be approaching minimus at a relatively fast speed uh now i don't know if i'll be able to safely land on minimus that's not my goal here my goal is to just reach it this is just the first attempt anyway, so why not? We also, we'll need to actually... I always forget to do this. We need to extend the um, the struts here, just so we can actually land safely. And let's see where we are and how we're doing here. Now, actually, maybe this is because it's a demo version, but playing with, this, with these nodes, it doesn't really show me the collisions. So, for all I know, I might actually be on the right course. So, let's take a chance and let's see if I actually do make it to the surface of Minimus, because I think maybe we are on the intercept orbit with it. Maybe we are going to be crashing into it, because I don't know if these are showing me the correct thingy, the correct uh, trajectory. Oh yeah, look at that, we're totally are crashing into Minimus. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, so how do we do this safely? We can't, there's no safe way around this. This is going to be Kerbal style landing. Uh, yeah, well, we need to decrease our speed by 150 meters per second. We don't have enough. This is going to be as suicide burning as possible. The way we're going to do, to do this is to, uh, we're going to position ourselves, uh, toward the retrograde, basically against the velocity. And, uh, we're going to just, uh, do a lot of prayer, Kerbal prayer to Kerbal Gods. And basically right now we're going to do our best not to crash our ship into Minimus. Anyway, so we have about two hours before reaching the maneuver node where we have to start worrying about decreasing speed let's do this nicely and safely we're gonna work here here comes minimus the beautiful beautiful minimus moon number two of Kerbin. and we're moving at uh 250 meters per second mm, yeah we do need to decrease our speed dramatically we can't there's no way we can uh these strats i believe can survive velocities of up to maybe was it, was it 15 meters per second? Yeah, I think so. 
and then this thing can survive about 15 as well and these tanks can each take about 20 so we might be able to just have this uh at the end it's going to there's going to be a lot of explosion going on it's definitely going to be a lot of uh pain and suffering we're not getting back to curb enough to this but let's let's try let's see how this goes i'm kind of actually curious i'm gonna enable the map here zoom in uh move uh another maneuver node right here and now we're going to just oh we can't warp to it anymore we can warp right here though let's try to warp right here and so we're warping to uh this particular node and let's see if anything good comes out of this landing this is actually honestly this is my first attempt doing this so i'm not surprised we're doing this kerbal style and screwing up so much but this is also a demo version so you don't really have much choice here we can remove this now uh all right so how are we going to do this let's uh let's plan this out uh, so I think the total speed will be maybe about 300 meters per second. We might be able to slow down. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to warp there. I don't want to warp there. Cancel. We might be able to, to slow down a little bit. Like we might be able to slow down just enough to reduce our velocity. But there's no way I have 320 meters per second delta V in that tank right there. So let's, uh, let's just position ourselves. Let's just position ourselves um, against the gravity. So our speed right now is 310 meters per second. We might as well just spend all our fuel right now. This is probably the only way we'll survive this. Uh, spend our fuel and then just point, you know, toward the landing site and then see what happens. Ready, steady. Jebediah you Kerman, you're a brave, brave creature. Oh, we had 100 uh, meters per second in there. Not nearly enough to survive this. Not nearly enough. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's use a, a stability assist here because we're going to be going toward our landing site. Very, very, very fast, may, may I add. Will parachutes help us at all? No. Let's deploy them just in case anyway. You never know. Maybe there's a sudden influx of uh, atmosphere here. So uh, our mission of getting to Minimus in demo version has been completed. I never said we're, we have to survive this. We, we might still survive. We might still survive this. I don't think we'll survive this. I really should be, yeah, I should be pointing this way. This is a, it doesn't look as fast, right? But this is actually close to about 700 kilometers per hour. 200 and what, 30 meters per second? And here we go. This is where normally you would be using burning your engines and doing the suicide burn and this is just the suicide part without the burn. Anyway, maybe we'll next time we'll try this again and succeed. This time this was a failure, but it was fun. It's a demo version is super fun to try. And uh, you may have heard that the uh, Corpus Space Program was actually recently purchased by a very big developer, uh, Take Two Interactive. They are one of the biggest uh, game companies in the world. So there's only good things that are ahead of us in Corpus Space Program. So do get it if you don't have it yet. We're going to try this again, but maybe in the real game though. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you still haven't. Try this game if you still haven't. And Corpus Space Program demo is available in the link in the description below. We haven't survived this, but we'll definitely will next time. I'll see you guys later. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.